Uh, I feel I feel great. You know, I feel great in the spot that I'm in. You know, I just passed uh, I think four months uh, post post surgery, so I'm moving along well. I'm in the pool doing um, you know. Uh, I'm jumping a little bit in the pool, you know, moving around a little bit. So I'm getting there, you know, and now it's working myself to be in weight bearing where I can do more explosive things. But, you know, I'm moving along fine, trying to be patient with it. But, uh, you know, it's been good so far. For me, I just learned how to, uh, you know, set small goals for myself. You know, uh, first it was getting out the boot. You know, next it was, uh, well, getting out the cast, then getting out the boot. You know, walking without a limp uh, or a hitch in my walk. Uh, learning to come on my toes. So those challenges are very fun for me. You know, it's stuff that we, we laugh about and it's boring when, you, when you're fully healthy, but when you, you, know, you forget how to walk at times and, and it's tougher, you know, it becomes fun. And it's a challenge, you know, and, um, and I just learned how to just be tough throughout this time. You know, uh, things could be worse, you know, but uh, the training staff have been doing a great job of getting me back on the court. And uh, I'm excited about every, every single I guess, boring detail of it, you know, um, just being mentally prepared when I first started this journey. And I'm continuing that as I go along. And you said a few months ago that NERC had really helped you along in those beginning stages of feeling just how long of a recovery this is. How, what has your communication been like or has there been communication with him in quarantine too? I mean, you guys still continuing that kind of aspect of your relationship? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I lean on Nurk a lot. You know, uh, we, we talk some, but then I watch him work, you know, um, especially when he was nearing returning play, you know, um, which is huge for any major injury when you out for so long and how motivated he was. And, you know, he always – I remember when I did get hurt, uh, my wife forced me to go out to eat, and uh, I saw Nurk, and, you know, he was just telling me, man, just to lean on him and to, to help him. I mean, for that he would help me through anything that I, I needed to go through. And uh, he's been great, man, just to watch him persevere, uh, you know, for him to get his body back in shape, for him to return to play, the work he put in, he come in extra early. You know, it's it just been real motivation for me to watch. So, um, you know, I'm going to continue to lean on him as I get closer to that time. Do you have a better sense of your timeline for returning at this point for when you could play basketball again? I, I, I honestly don't. You know, my, my mindset has always been to, uh, well, I would say always, up until I started walking after the boot, um, I started shooting for uh, the beginning of the training camp, which supposedly was, well, that was supposed to be like September or whenever next year's training camp was going to be. But now with the talks of pushing next season back or, you know, whatever case may be, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of messing my mind a little bit. But, you know, I want to continue to try to set small goals for myself, like, you know, I want to try to shoot to be on the court by, you know, mid-June, end of June, so I'm able to work out and stuff. So that's still my goal regardless of what happens with the season. What do you view as your next milestone? Uh, well, right now, uh, just being able to – just be able to do a bunch of toe raises at the same time, getting the, uh, getting the strength uh, back in my calf muscle. You know, uh, it's easy – well, not easy, but – you know, it's different getting the strength within your uh, Achilles, but making sure you, your calf muscles and your knee and your, your quads, your hamstrings on your left leg or on my left leg is, uh, is catching back up to my right leg, uh, making sure I'm putting weight and not overcompensating my right, my right leg by uh, putting weight on it. So uh, it's just different small things like that. Like I said earlier, uh, I've been in the pool, you know, doing kind of explosive work you know, a little bit, uh, and just making sure I'm continuing to put weight on it every week. So uh, by the time I get the full weight bearing, I'm able to, you know, run and, and jump or make explosive movements without without any setbacks or whatever. But we're still in a uh, very protective stages, I, I would say, as well. You know, we can all be optimistic, but this is an injury where it's like you can have all the hopes for something, and then when you get to that time, you just you just never know. Uh, like I said, a lot of things I'm shooting for is for June is to be able to be jogging, you know, doing workouts, whether they're light or not, being able to do workouts, jogging and stuff like that, uh, jumping. But uh, I got to take the necessary steps. You know, um, as bad as I want to, I want to skip steps. I want to be on the court right now. But, you know, as um, long as I continue to do what I got to do, I, I, I want to be on the court jogging and doing stuff by June. Obviously, you've been granted time with the injury and now without uh, having any games to go to. How have you been able to embrace that time being the family guy that you are and being a dad and kind of seeing them, 
really minute by minute of the day, which maybe during the season you wouldn't have that opportunity. I mean, it's been, it's been great. You know, um, that's been the silver lining in my rehab, you know, being able to, to be with them uh, and being able to watch them grow. You know, uh, sometimes it can be strenuous because he's four. And then, you know, my twins are about to end the ter- uh, enter the terrible twos next week. So uh, they've been running me crazy. But it, it's fun, to, you know, to watch them grow, them get smarter. Uh, our relationship is growing every single day. So that's been the silver lining and everything that's been going on. Hey, Rodney, you mentioned a lot of little things that we probably take for granted physically. And now with everybody being locked up at home, there's a lot of things that maybe we took for granted being in normal life. What have you learned about yourself during this process so far as you're going through it? Man, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Just, I mean, just learn a lot about myself, learn a lot about my family, uh, learn a lot about, you know, uh, you know, the world in general, you know, because we all going through this from all walks of life, you know, um, but it, it's been great, man, just watching, you know, I'm a big nature guy I'm from Mississippi, you know, uh, taking for granted, just going outside and smelling the air. You know, I know it's a lot of pot on that side right now, but, you know, just not taking those things for granted and you know, enjoying being human. You know, a lot of times we in our jobs and we go day to day and we, we like a routine. We sometimes become robots, but now is the time we can, you can reflect on how far you came, uh, how far you got to go, you know, uh, reflect on the, the times you have with your loved ones and um, just make sure you appreciate those times because they can be taken away from you and life is not promised forever. You know, so we, uh, that's, that's the biggest thing that I learned and that I enjoy and that I take for me past this pandemic is just being able to appreciate every little thing that goes on.